What can Londoners expect to see over the next four days? Well, they know what they're going to hear, which is great music. It's three days of uh, festivities in our city. Great music, great events. Uh, there's a concert tonight with Faithless, tomorrow night Rudimental, uh, and the final of Lenny Kravitz is playing. There's five different uh, fan zones across uh, London. So Real Madrid fans, British Dortmund fans, other football fans can come along. Uh, they can see events taking place, take part in events. The really great thing for London is it confirms to the globe we are the sporting capital of the world, but also it contributes more than £50 million pounds towards our economy. Think of the hotels, the restaurants, our theatres and so forth. So it's a real food for our city. What are you most looking forward to about the, the match, the celebrations? I'm looking forward to some of the footballing legends coming to London. You all see Saturday night uh, some, you know, greatest of all time footballers, ex-footballers inside the stadium playing and watching. I'm looking forward to a great game. I think there'll be lots of goals. Uh, I think Real Madrid will win it. They are European royalty. What I, what I want is a great sporting event. I'm afraid the men's Euros final wasn't a good uh, spectacle for, for our, our city in relation to what happened afterwards. The wins final improved the reputation to some extent, but this is an event watched by more than 450 million people across the globe in more than 200 countries. I'm hoping it cements our reputation as a sporting capital, but also shows the world, whether it's baseball, American football, whether it's athletics, whether it's tennis, whether it's boxing, we can do everything. And I understand fans will be able to watch the match in Hyde Park uh, and in Bankman, but not here in Chicago Square. We've been speaking to both Real Madrid and uh, British and Dortmund about what works best for them. So we could be consulting with them because they'll have fans here who unfortunately haven't got tickets. We're encouraging people to go to bars and other places showing the games. But for those fans without tickets, what we don't want you know, is them walking about our city without something to watch it. So we've organised a space for those fans who come from uh, Real Madrid or British and Dortmund for them, those clubs, for a place to watch it.